everyone, it's Lacey Green for D News. The holidays are here, my favorite. Everyone's perking up a little bit, things feel cozy and warm. Excitement's in the air and people stop being a-holes for two and a half seconds. Whenever it's all over, there's always this sudden feeling of emptiness. Like suddenly the ice and snow isn't charming anymore, it's just a slippery bed of Death. You start to wonder how you managed to spend three whole days cooped up with your loudmouth aunt. It's as if you were under some sort of holiday spell. What is this wizardry? Here's a guess. The holidays induce a temporary giving high. In most cultures and celebrations around the world this time of year, giving to one another takes the main stage. People flood into soup kitchens, they ramp up their charity drives, they handcraft gifts and splurge on items that they think their loved ones will enjoy. The holidays are the one time of year when society breaks from encouraging people to be self-serving jerks. Yeah, I said it. Rugged individualism in America's money-worshipping, day-to-day rat race brings out the nasty in people. But giving and thinking about the welfare of others actually has all kinds of crazy, wonderful effects on the body and brain. When we give to someone selflessly without the expectation of getting something for ourselves in return, our brain releases dopamine, serotonin, and lots of other happy hormones that make you feel all warm and snuggly inside. So it's no surprise then, to me at least, that people who do charity work have lower rates of depression higher self-esteem. People who spend money on someone else feel better than people who spend it on themselves. Elders in retirement homes who took time to support their neighbors had stronger hearts and immune systems and were twice as likely to be alive over the next five years. All signs point to stop being a greedy fool, America. We thrive when we give to each other plentifully and often. The fact that our brain naturally rewards giving is a sign that maybe human nature isn't that bad. Maybe we actually are an altruistic species, capable of caring and thinking about each other. Or, you know, maybe not. There is a darker take on this story. One might argue that we only like giving because we are personally rewarded for it. That the giver's high is the whole reason we give. Meaning that in the end, giving of yourself to loved ones might seem selfless, but really, it's just another way to serve yourself a heaping plate of, yay me, I'm so awesome for doing nice stuff. So, which side are you on, peeps? Are the holidays a time where humans rise up, or is it really just a self-serving, feel-good phony coming out in all of us? Let me know down below, and be sure you hit subscribe so you can jump in on the next conversation.